Evening folks, this is Vagrant, we are back playing Control, part 2. In the last video, everything went bloody nuts. <laughs> That's about all I've got for you, frankly. And it wants us to move further into the bureau. Everything's gone a little bit spooky sound-wise. But that building over there has a big yellow mark on it, and it's the same as the quest marker, so I'm going to shoot... <laughs> and that's where the game wants me to go, essentially. See an upgrade. Oh, cool. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. <laughs> Is the hiss your enemy? Um. Alright, it's our enemy. <laughs> okay, maybe not on that. contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Okay, I'll just move over myself then, shall I? A new correspondence from the FBC, Visitor Evaluations. Oh, welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control. So this is how to handle unscheduled visitors. Established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them some questions. Are you here to someone? Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem, uh, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunnar's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the scoring sheet, then, uh, immediately. Hmm. It's a suspicious building. Also, this is super weird. Still. What are you? Urban legends. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain uh, informed by our own uh, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially uh, in pop culture using uh, our bureau made and television program. Huh. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates their details. So they are making TV programs like I don't know, like, like like the Twilight Zone or something like that, spreading urban legends. Like people are seeing these TV shows and they're making urban legends from what they've seen on TV, which doesn't surprise me. Certain paranormal, paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on Earth, a pair of scissors that consume human Earth through two punctures on the Earth. These details, living the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Okay, this is a weird ass game. I love it. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, it's a boss. Okay. Whoa! Let's try to take out all the others first. Oh. Jesus! Ah! I'm very nearly dead. I'm trying to pick up some health. Jesus! This dude's insane! Health, 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 health. Why did that thing just spin around towards me? Okay, come here, you. Whew! Let's cleanse control points. Cleanse the control point. Okay. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Nice. Outfits. Oh, fast travel. Cool. We 
the bureau. Are you still sane? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Let's be friends. Help me. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. <laughs> Shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. What is going on? Oh, it's a couple of them. It's Iron Man. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Who am I? Okay. <laughs> you with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Who am, who am I in this situation? I'm really curious. I don't think it's just a... Like a fourth wall breaking thing anymore. I think I'm... She's talking to someone in her head, but it's not herself. I don't think it's herself either. I think we are a separate person or an entity of some form. Hello. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating through the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behaviour. They only seem interested in vocalising the strange incantation ad infinitum. ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters, or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? 
When attacked, his agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research ongoing. So, Hiss, like I said, has come into this world probably through... They're saying that we've got these all these altered world events and there's the astral plane. So let's assume that Hiss came through there for now. And if they catch onto a security guard, they start trying to kill me and shoot me. They're using the security guards as weapons. And if they get onto a normal person, then they don't. They become just floating and use them as communication devices more than anything else. Ripping it out rips them apart. These guys have all got this weird thing on their chest, which I guess is acting as a way to stop the hiss. The interesting thing about that is that suggests they were aware of the hiss beforehand, right? Because they had all these devices ready. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an Altered World event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. And we'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Tomasi's gone mental. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Behind the poster. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. Let's talk. The hotline should be in the community. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's find out some stuff. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? 
No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Got a gal pal? You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Hmm. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure you do. Last one. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Big fan of this short hair thing she's got going on here. Thanks, Emily. Okay. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Inevitably, but just we learned know. a lot. We are learning things. Right, right, we're in the bottom right. I want to hop back in here. See if we can talk to anyone else. Nope. Uh, anyone else? I know there's. Well, I've. In here. Now, there's side missions and stuff in the game, so I just wanted to double check. Isn't there a third person? I'm sure I saw four people come out of there. Also, what's this do? Oh, right, yeah, I've already seen that before. What am I on about? Right. So we claim the positions of power throughout the building, and that's going to let us fast travel around. Where am I going? This way! Mm, maybe up there, actually. Okay, I can activate a weapon mod. And a personal mod. Ooh, health recovery. Health recovery on element pickup plus 20%. Oh, sweet. Assets, we got some more. So it's when we pick up these materials, right? I guess these are elements. Uh, we get a little bit of health boost. That's pretty cool. And we've got some new records. Oh, it's just a portrait. Okay. This must be the right way. Uh, actually, I'm pretty convinced this is no longer the right way. Down we go. Ow. Shut up. There it is again. A welcome message. Oh. Got a new weapon mod. First one. Sweet. Damage while low in health. 34% damage while low in health. Awesome. Well on board with that. Can play like a very whiskey game. 
So the hiss are trying to communicate. Maybe the hiss are good. <gasps> Twist. Um, but they're trying to communicate using the taken over individuals. Hello. Well then. It looks like there's been non-infected. Oh, bam, baby! Like there's been non-infected security guards, and they've been taken out by the hiss. Travel costs, accommodation, meals, gasoline, minibar, minibar, three to thirteen on the minibar. <laughs> I do wonder if a motel called Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think. I request you give us a budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Riley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. Yeah. These like chests, basically. I don't have a personal mod, but I can only equip one at the moment, so we do we want, which one do we want? 17% more health, or... Yeah, I'm going to boost my health by 17%. I'm hoping the low health is a percentage, so then having a high health, generally speaking, would be a better thing, because then we can go lower without actually being low, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Shut up! Oh god, okay. Shut up! I'm gonna go down. I don't think that's even the right way, but I'm obviously going to go down here. Oh! 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 It's overpowering here. Okay, maybe not. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. I kinda wanna shoot them just to shut them up, but I feel bad. Yeah. His barrier. The his resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appear as two as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them: destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources, destroy the his entities. Oh, is this like a Devil May Cry thing? Yeah, you know where you enter an area and then they put up like a block so you can't move any further. Um, so we need to destroy the resonance sources, which I guess is the ones speaking or the his entities in general. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it moving and planning? I have a little wonder about. Now that I know there's chests and stuff, I kind of like don't want to miss anything. So, I apologise, maybe you're new to the channel, you won't be used to this, but yeah, I will, I'm, I'm going to look around everywhere. And this is why. No, just material. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm really curious what they're saying though, I want to see if we can find out somehow. I heard yellow, I heard insults. Surface. What was that? Oh, another personal mod. Uh, energy recovery. Energy recovery speed. What exactly? Uh, we don't. We don't even have energy at this point in time. It's not a stat in the game yet, so it's probably not that useful. I love that. Oh god, I love that so much. Machine God. Dead letters. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the one anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt for my car's engine and the wheels for my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. 
If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address of the envelope. If my phone does not work anymore, I had to use the dialing plate on God. Alright then. That's not weird at all. Let's play ball, kids. I can see he's got barrier rope. I don't know if I can just break through it or if I need to... Ugh, Jesus. Okay, so I think what we need to do is take out the sort. Is it take these out, maybe? That barrier is recharged. Oh, God, hello. I swear I just heard them screaming. Ah. Ah. Oh god, hello, didn't see you at all. This is the control point. Ah. No! Ah. Barry's definitely weaker, isn't it? Look at that. It's way weaker than it was. God damn it. Whew, you were hard work, son. You really were. I'm wondering if I was doing that right, like, was I meant to take those out to weaken it? Was it killing the other guys to weaken it? I think, generally speaking, you want to ignore the guy with the uh, the shield and obviously target the others, right? Go. Have a little poke around. Yay! I love these. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. OOP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched... maybe... three dozen pencils. And once... We even launched a cup. Alrighty. I guess I'm going that way next. Yeah, so on let's, the right track. let's go everywhere else. Do I have I don't have clearance yet, do I? I remember this for Gotta remember this for future reference so we can come back. Oops. There's a few locked doors and stuff. Uh, oh, okay. I <laughs> wasn't sure that was going to hurt or not. There we go. Book club. Penny. The Bureau Book book Bunch will convene at the usual spot. Blah, 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 blah. We're reading Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get the reviews on Monday. Yeah. I thought they have a book club then. Oh.
Well, <laughs> that was the scariest thing in the entire game by an absolute country mile. Not even slightly close. Oh my god. What? Does it save every time I pause? Looks like it. That's horrifying. That was terrifying. <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. Um. Oh, this game. Yeah, so, with, I mean, we're piecing together loads of bits of information. We definitely don't really know anything yet. I'm sure that's kind of on purpose. If we knew everything going on, <sighs> the game would lose a lot of impact. But uh, I'm definitely curious to see what happens next. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, folks. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.